Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Decisive Campaigns or Den Offensive. I'm here with an Underbones episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pumnarao. I'm uh, currently in evening turn, and I do think. For um, quite a few units, let's see though, this is also, is there any supply here? Still on build up. Like, I feel like there are plenty of units that I actually want to leave for a while. So that uh, they can get some rest and stuff. Come on. It's just one fucking truck. Like. Talking about annoying. Um, I do think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the 386th Folks Grenadier in large part just rest for a bit while the I want to move the 316th further up to Arlon and then deal with it there. So there'll be that. Because um, I think plenty of these these guys also need rest. Now the question is whether I'm going to do that with these guys too, and I actually think. The elements that are doing reasonably well, I'm going to let them move still. But those that are close to 55. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. Means they'll play catch up later. Yeah. 
Obviously it doesn't work. Okay, I'm um, just gonna rest those in the city. Well, they need to keep moving. And you only have fear big light, so let's just keep them moving. If I get to see what's there, that's nice, but I probably won't. Looks pretty good. And it was. The um, main problem here is that these guys are in the city blocking that. Actually, oh, that's pretty weak. Hmm. Never mind that it's interesting. I'll actually move them. All right, they will have to attack on the next turn, I guess. I guess, given that, let's go. That's quite neat. Um, I do really need to have these areas cleared out anyway. where they only have uh, some sporadic uh, things. Now, at this point, I also need to decide where I'm going to get 5th Fallschirmjäger. I think Maybe a first target for them to rest. I mean, I don't want to send these guys back up again. I might have to. Since moving through down... It's not necessarily going to work out the way I might want. I think the main issue is I know there's a unit there. Because basically um, there was the HQ that was coming from here and it was retreating. It's probably in the city. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. 
I have two recon units and something else trying to look in there. I've got Signor. But is the road to Florenville? I can only assume that uh, Patton has gotten away. Pretty much. I think it is very likely that something else happened. Okay. Weird. Yeah, there was nothing there. Um, okay, let's take a look at this armored infantry battalion. Strangely enough, currently I, I do have these, but <clears throat> let's haul these out. Well, I have only those as a range attack for now. Let's see. Nothing. Yeah. Well, these guys should also stay there. No, well, let's move them in there. And Make sure that the units are moved. They can actually go further than that. And HQ <coughs> will also go move. Now, as of this, I'm gonna leave it in our lawn too. I said that I want the 388th to basically uh, hold a merch, but since they're there already, I might just as well. Uh, the same rather applies for the HQ. They're already further away. I might just as well move them. But these should definitely stay because they're already only at 55. Now these are gonna move all the way to Arnold as well, so they might just as well stay there and rest for the next turn. Right, I've taken care, I think, of pretty much everywhere, everything down there. So now, I get to continue. I can either bypass it, or attack. And I think... Damn it.
Okay. The units that I want to attack with are 5th Hull Shearm. And 35th Panzer Grenadier Regiment. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that's that's okay. They are fairly weak now, though they do still have quite a few bazookas. They cost me a few tanks. But I guess I cleared the road. How does it look? I don't think attacking across the river is a really great idea, <clears throat> but I think uh, that's a problem. Like that's an attack across the river that I don't fancy making. Lost a few units, but the odds weren't. That bad. I don't think this unit is a 41, or at least it didn't seem to be that strong, but... Ain't nothing to do about it now. So these are our units that already moved. <clears throat> so despite this, I'm still definitely just bringing up reinforcements there. These guys have been cut off, but it doesn't really mean a whole lot yet. Both of those are in marching mode. And they're all from the Panzer Lair division.
I'll leave these guys resting. They clearly need it. Yeah, so I guess I'll stay in there and you should probably stay there for the moment. These guys might try to move through there. And I can currently really only hope that uh, it works out for me, but. I really don't need a lot of artillery for this, I think. Even if it doesn't do a whole lot. Eh. Come on. Jeez. Strange that. Just like this. Yeah, I'll probably also just leave them there during the night. Um, at least holding... Those main roads. How useful is it to try and get through there? Not sure. I'll certainly try to force the main road uh, and this road here as well for a bit. I'm trying to get to Marche and Rochefort. All these uh, Werfer Brigades are in a terrible state here. But they're not going to attack for a while yet, so...
I'll try to just bypass from there because this is a disaster as well. I better just get to Saint Hubert. Try to deal with things from there. I have 54 to spend on building a depot and stuff like that. Okay. So I'm concerned a medium depot for Logan Field should be fine. I have a major supply base there. Probably good to have one at Palisol as well. But let's actually start with getting a small one at Libramont this turn. So with the Felder sets it's 29, can't build a major depot. Um, but for the 29, I can get two times replacements, one at Stutkill, one at Bitburg. At least that, that way I'm getting some reinforcements. I might actually deploy the Feldarsats at Libin because these guys are probably trying to retreat through there. And I don't like it. Technically, they could start trying to find stuff, but I'm not that big a fan of these guys trying to, uh, you know, get back to their own lines, to be honest. Okay, we currently only have the headquarters and artillery. I don't see these guys moving that quickly. But this is a problem in and of itself, too. Crap. Fuck me. Oh, fuck. 
Oj, 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 oj. Really had hoped that the extra spawning would have helped there. Shit. Try to attack this though. Mm, yeah. I didn't do anything with the recon because I actually think the recon also should be resting. And I cannot force this city anyway. That would be nice, as I would have been able to cut off the 501st Airborne Regiment. Uh, but I don't feel like I can. I'll actually let those guys rest. This is also kind of weird because they retreated. And then here too, up to a certain extent that is. Well, I suppose that one of the first things that I want to do is force this. I guess they have a bunch of tanks. That... means I, I really need support. As well. Uh, wh why ranged? Ugh. Makes no sense. Let's keep him in Stavolo. Okay. One good thing about Greif teams is that <laughs> they're pretty reasonable for Jesus. In the beginning, these ambushes weren't so bad, but lately they've been getting really insane. And okay. really nuts. 
in terms of losses. <clears throat> Initiative. Currently, the only thing that I want from these guys is a recon. In the hope that I can spot that British artillery and just wipe it out. Oh, come on. Is it that useless? It is that useless. It's not a good turn for me. Uh, I want a regular attack. There you go. I knew it was only one unit, but... Very curious as to why they would allow me to move further towards Verbomo. But uh, we'll see. In terms of stats, they're not that much below us, but like also in general, light flak, motorized units they're actually getting equal to us in tanks as well they used to be a lot higher but now it's almost equal uh, casualties as it is for the americans 70,000 whereas for us it's 13 so we do have a five to one losses ratio so far so that's pretty good this is exactly the same which is i guess also our 247 points but i mean uh not getting there for me would make it feel like a failure so anyway um, all my hopes are now on the south <laughs> and me potentially being able to push through I mean, we do have forward elements that basically can see the muse and the same map part I don't know how many kilometers one hex is, but it's uh, something all right. All right, I'm gonna wrap things up for this one. I wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. We'll continue on later in the next one. Take care, see you next time and bye-bye.